Meet Ramaya Pujari, a forest inhabitant in the western ghats of Karnataka. Ramaya's entire world is linked to forests. Food, water, medicine, income, culture, everything that has sustained Ramaya and generations of his family comes from these forests. There are millions like Ramaya in India for whom forests are life itself. The increasing pressures on forest resources are posing new challenges to their lives. Conserving and enhancing forest ecosystems through scientific and community-based approaches is the need of the hour. Innovations in Ecosystem Management and Conservation, IMAC, is a USAID-supported program led by Ayura Ecological with partners Bioversity International and MART. IMAC has worked on three approaches to support sustainable forest management in Madhya Pradesh and Karnataka. Developing gender-sensitive models for improved fuelwood management, building community-centric value chains for non-timber forest products, NTFPs, and strengthening community-based monitoring of forests. The IMAC program began its work in Mandala and Sirsi through extensive interactions and participatory needs assessments with forest stakeholders. Early interviews with primary fuelwood collectors, forest officials and researchers revealed the need for a decision support tool that could identify landscape specific interventions that tackle fuelwood pressures. In response to this need, IMAC designed and developed the innovative iForest Systems Dynamic Tool. This is how iForest works. A forest manager begins by entering baseline ecological and socio-economic data, as well as a list of fuel wood saving technologies into the iForest database. Next, they run simulations which show changes in forest stock over the next 10 years under business as usual and alternative use case scenarios. This information enables managers to quickly assess the impact of ecological and technological interventions on forest cover and on carbon emissions. Then, iForest computes budgets for all interventions in a landscape revealing the financial investments needed to improve forest stock. This holistic knowledge empowers managers to choose effective interventions and allocate funds accordingly. The IMAC Systems Dynamic Model is an innovative attempt to build a decision support system for forest fuelwood sustainable management in India. The model seeks to correlate various parameters related to the use and abuse of fuelwood, including sustainable harvesting levels, current extractions, community's knowledge about fuel wood extraction, as well as the use scenarios of fuel wood. Many of us don't know precisely where does fuel wood go, what percentage of fuel wood is consumed in households, what percentage goes to commercial use, what percentage is used in industry. The model seeks to demystify these by creating very precise scenarios of what would happen if fuel wood could be conserved through interventions like clean technology and afforestation at a household level or at an industrial level, thereby providing a very sound decision support system to investors like the government and various civil society organizations to be able to get a very optimal return for any investments that they make in the rural economy of India towards fuel wood conservation. In order to maximize the impact of our model and to ensure that our model is based on authentic information, we have created something called the Fuel Wood Systems Dynamic Task Force which includes the country's best systems dynamic modelers as well as very experienced forestry professionals who come together every quarter to give us feedback on our attempts as well as to comment on the use scenarios that we are making. 
in the end we intend to use a visual spatially led demonstration platform which through which our model will be useful to not only experienced technical scientists but also community based planners the polity and the leadership of various government departments i forest innovative model puts powerful forecasting and decision support tools right at the fingertips of forest managers giving them a scientific basis to sustainably manage their forests the imac partners identified various technological interventions to lower fuel wood use in mandala and sirsi imac deployed these technologies through an innovative joint investment model with organizations and individuals non timber forest products such as mahua kokum upage and many others are a primary source of income for forest dependent communities to prepare them for sale in the market ntfp collectors dry them using traditional dryers that use large quantities of fuel wood typically extracted from neighboring forests in sirsi households burn up to 23 kilograms of fuel wood to process only 1 kg of upage in such dryers imac installed an astra dryer in ramaiya pujari's home as an alternative to their traditional dryer this dryer uses 80% less fuel wood than traditional dryers and emits far less smoke the astra dryer also enhances the quality of the ntfp unlike the traditional dryer it maintains uniform temperature and prevents the fruit from coming in direct contact with smoke this preserves the flavor and the appearance of the ntfp giving it a premium market value nan hesaru ramayya narayan pooja ante heli pensi manjati idi area hesaru nanu illinda ond 25 varsha hinde bandu ulidava ಜೀವನೋಪಯೋಗಕ್ಕಾಗಿ ಉಪಗೆ ರಾಮಪತ್ರೆ ಹೀಗೆಲ್ಲ ಮಾಡ್ತಿದ್ವಿ ದಾಲ್ಚೇದು ಮಾಡ್ತಿದ್ರು ಈಗ ಅದು ಬ್ಯಾನ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅದನ್ನು ಮಾಡುವ ಹಾಗಿಲ್ಲ ಬೆಳಿಗ್ಗೆ ದಿನ ಪ್ರತಿ ದಿನ ಮಳೆಗಾಲದಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಎರಡು ತಿಂಗಳು ಅದೇ ನಮಗೆ ಉದ್ಯೋಗ ಇದನ್ನು ಕಾಡಿಗೆ ಹೋಗಿ ಉಪ್ಪಾಗೆ ತರೋದು ಅದನ್ನು ತಂದು ಕ್ಲೀನ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಒಣಗಿಸಿ ಇದು ಮಾಡುವಂಥದ್ದು ಕಾಡಿಗೆ ಹೋಗಿ ಮತ್ತು ಮನೆ ಸುತ್ತಮುತ್ತಲೂ ನಮ್ಮ ತೋ ತೋಟದ ಪಕ್ಕದಲ್ಲಿ ಇದ್ದದ್ದು ನಾವು ಸಂಗ್ರಹಣ ಮಾಡ್ತೇವೆ ಎಂಟು ಗಂಟೆಲ್ಲರಿಗೆ ನಾವು ಸಂಗ್ರಹಣ ಮಾಡ್ತೇವೆ ಆಮೇಲೆ ನಮಗೆ ಏನಾಗ್ತದೆ ದಿವಸ ಅವತ್ತಿನ ಖರ್ಚಿಗೆ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಕೊಟ್ಟುಕೊಂಡು ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ರೇಟನ್ನು ಕಾಯಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಹೆಚ್ಚಿಗೆ ಬೆಲೆ ಬರಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಅವಕಾಶ ಇರುತ್ತಿತ್ತು ಈಗ ಅಲ್ಪ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಎಲ್ಲ ಬಂದವಾಗ ನಮಗೆ ಅವಕಾಶ ಇಡ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಆಗೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಯಾಕೆಂದರೆ ಮಳೆಗಾಲ ದಿವಸ ನೋಡಬೇಕಲ್ಲ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಈ ಐಮೆಕ್ ಕಂಪ್ನಿ ಅಂತೇಳಿ ಒಬ್ಬರು ನಮಗೆ ಡ್ರೈವರ್ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಮಾಹಿತಿಯನ್ನು ಕೊಟ್ಟರು ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ನಾವು ನಮಗೂ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ನಾವು ಕಷ್ಟಪಡ್ತಿದ್ವು ಹಾಗೆ ಸಿಕ್ಕಾಪಟ್ಟೆ ಇದಾಗ್ತಿತ್ತು ಕಣ್ಣಿಗೆ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗ್ತಿತ್ತು ಮತ್ತು ಊಟನೂ ಸೇರುವುದಿಲ್ಲ ಆ ಸಂದರ್ಭದಲ್ಲಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಗ್ರಾಮೀಣ ವಲಯದಲ್ಲಿ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಡ್ರಾಯರ್ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಆಸಕ್ತಿ ಹೊಂದಿದಾಗ ಅವರು ಐಮೆ ಕಂಪ್ನಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಇಂಥದ್ದು ಹಿಂಗೆ ಮಾಡಿದರೆ ಈಗ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಅನುಕೂಲ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಅಂತೇಳೆಲ್ಲ ಹೇಳಿದರು ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಅದನ್ನೇ ನಾ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಆಗ್ತದಲ್ಲ ಆ ಒಂದು ಉದ್ದೇಶದಿಂದ ಒಂದು ಐಮೆ ಡ್ರಾಯರನ್ನು ಹಾಕ್ತಿದೆ ನಾವು ಈಗ ಅದರಿಂದ ನಮಗೆ ಭಾರಿ ಅನುಕೂಲ ಆಗಿದೆ ಯಾಕೆಂತೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಹೊಗೆ ಇಲ್ಲ ಮತ್ತು ಕೆಲಸನೂ ಭಾರಿ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಪದೇ ಪದೇ ಬೆಂಕಿನೂ ಒಟ್ಟಬೇಕು ಕುಂಟೆ ತಂದು ಹಾಕಬೇಕು ಹಾಗೆ ಏನಿಲ್ಲ ನಾವು ಒಂದು ಸಲ ಇದು ಮಾಡಿಬಿಟ್ಟು ಮತ್ತು ಸಂಜೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ತೆಗಿಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಅನುಕೂಲ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಅದ್ರ ಮೇಲೆ ಆಶಕ್ತಿ ಇದ್ದು ಒಂದು ಡ್ರಾಯರನ್ನು ಹಾಕ್ತಿದ್ದೇನೆ ನಮಗೆ ಒಳ್ಳೆ ಅನುಕೂಲ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಅದರಿಂದ ಇಲ್ಲಕ್ಕ ಪರಿಸರದಲ್ಲಿ ಇದು ಹವಾಮಾನದ ವಾತಾವರಣ ಯಾವುದಂತೂ ಗೊತ್ತಾಗಲಿಲ್ಲ ಇವತ್ತಂತೂ ಫುಡ್ ಭಾರಿ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಕಳೆದ ವರ್ಷ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಇದಿತ್ತು ಅದಕ್ಕೂ ಹಿಂದಿನ ಬಾರಿ ಚಲೋ ಬಂದಿತ್ತು ಎಂಟು ಗಂಟೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಹತ್ತು ಗಂಟೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಮಾಡ್ತಿದ್ದೆ ನಾವು ಒಂದು ಎರಡು ಮೂರು ಮಂದಿ ಸೇರಿ ಮನೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಕುಟುಂಬದಲ್ಲಿ ಈಗ ಆ ಪ್ರಮಾಣ ಇಲ್ಲ ಇವತ್ತ ಒಂದು ಕ್ವಿಂಟಲ್ ಮಾಡಲಿಕ್ಕೂ ಭಾರಿ ಕಷ್ಟ ಅದು ಯಾವುದೇ ಒಂದು ಇದರಿಂದ ಆಗಿದೆ ಅಂತ ನಮಗೆ ಇನ್ನು ಗಮನಕ್ಕೆ ಬರಲಿಲ್ಲ ನಮ್ಮ ಡ್ರಾಯರನ್ನು ನೋಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಅನೇಕ ಮಂದಿ ಬಂದಿದ್ರು ನಾವು ಡ್ರಾಯರ್ ಹಾಕಿದ ನಂತರ ಮತ್ತು ನಮ್ಮ ಉಪಯೋಗನ ಒಣಸಿದಾಗಲೂ ಅದು ನೋಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಬಂದಿದ್ದು ಸುಮಾರು ಒಂದು ಎಂಟು ಹತ್ತು ಜನ ಡ್ರೈವರನ್ನು ಹಾಕಿದ್ರೆ ಒಳ್ಳೇದಾಗ್ತದೆ ಅನುಕೂಲ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಯಾಕಂದರೆ ಬ್ಯಾಸಿಗೆಲ್ಲ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಅನುಕೂಲ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಯಾಕಂದರೆ ಈ ಸಲ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಹಪ್ಪಳ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಯಾಕಂದರೆ ಕೊಬ್ಬರಿ ಗಿಬ್ಬರಿ ಎಲ್ಲ ಒಣಸ್ಕೊಂಡು ಹೋಗಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಮತ್ತು ಯಾಲಕ್ಕಿ ಒಣಸ್ಲಿಕ್ಕಂತೂ ಒಂದು ನಂಬರ್ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಅನದರ್ ಮೇಜರ್ ಡ್ರೈವರ್ ಆಫ್ ಫ್ಯೂಲ್
each installed Astra water heater uses 45% less fuel wood than the traditional heater and reduces emissions by 3.24 tons of CO2 per year. I In Mandala, IMAC identified clean cooking interventions to reduce fuel wood use. At a tribal hostel in Guguri, the program installed an Astra cook stove pilot unit. Its 50% reduction in fuel wood use and near smokeless cooking made it an instant success. The Tribal Welfare Department immediately co-invested in replacing all traditional cook stoves in Mandala's tribal hostels with Astra cook stoves. More than 17 such cook stoves have been installed until now. Every Astra cook stove installed saves approximately 56 trees and reduces 20 tons of carbon emissions every year. मेरा नाम श्रीमती सुशीला धुर्वी है मैं सहायक अध्यापक और बेगा कन्या आश्रम खजरी की हॉस्टल सुपरिंटेंडेंट हूं आ, मैं अभी लगभग एक साल से यहां पर कार्यरत हूं ये धुआं रहित चूल्हा निर्माण होने के पहले लकड़ी से ही हमारे यहां खाना पूरा हॉस्टल के लिए बनता था लकड़ी बहुत ज्यादा खपत भी होती थी और जैसा कि आप देख रहे हैं यहां पे कमरे के पूरा आइट साइड में धुआं भरा हुआ है काला काला दिख रहा है और इसको बचाने के लिए अब हम लोग भी परेशान थे और हमारे कर्मचारी विभाग भी परेशान थे पूरा खाना बनाते समय आंखों में धुआं फिर आसपास की साफ सफाई कभी ना हो पाना तो ये जो चूल्हा बना के शासन ने हमें प्रदान किए हैं बहुत ही हमें अच्छा लगा है और इसका उपयोग भी हम जब से बनी है तब से हम करते आ रहे हैं ये चूल्हा धुआं रहित चूल्हा जो निर्माण है वो मार्च महीना में 11 12 तारीख को लगभग पूर्ण कर लिया गया था और इसके बाद से हम लोग इसको उपयोग कर रहे हैं और देख रहे हैं कि इसमें लकड़ी की बचत भी काफी मात्रा में हो रही है और हमारे कर्मचारियों को भी जो आंखों में धुआं से आंसू आना ये सब की परेशानी कम हो गई है वो लोग भी खुश हैं हमारे इस धुआं रहित चूल्हा निर्माण के बन जाने से और ये हमारे शासन के द्वारा बहुत ही अच्छा योजना जो हमारे हॉस्टलों में दिया गया है बहुत ही सराहनीय है और हम भी बहुत खुश हैं IMAC has also worked to reduce fuel wood use in households across Mandala 64 biogas cooking units have been installed in Kandra village through the program's efforts each installed biogas unit uses 80% less fuel wood than a traditional cook stove this means that each one of the biogas units installed in Mandala saves 21 trees per year mera naam hira singh maravi gram dongar mandla ka rehne wale hu main i make project se main juda hu matlab matlab i arbin sir ne is farm bharwaya mere ko mere naam se ki biogas banwana hai ke wo sab city matlab 2500 rupaya aaya isko main iska bhumi ka prashikshan matlab ye iska matlab jaanch ki hai uske baad paise aaye uske baad main khanwaye isko maine uske baad is phir chalu kiya isko kaam उसके बाद में पाइप पाइप सेट किए इसको उसके बाद में मतलब अंदर चूल्हा जो गैस है उसे पर मतलब इसको चालू करवाया The emission free cooking creates a healthy and positive environment in households IMAC created an innovative deployment model to make biogas units affordable for families working with government agencies such as MP Agro IMAC unlocked government subsidies and created a new model of value chain financing. By using a pool of rotating pre-financing capital, offering cost-effective material supply contracts, 
negotiating payment terms with vendors, and ensuring last mile delivery and monitoring through a two-tiered community deployment strategy, IMAC has created a successful model that has led to ongoing adoption of biogas-based clean cooking across Mandala. MP State Agro Industries Corporation basically किसानों और हितग्राहियों के को उच्च क्वालिटी की मक्का मटेरियल कहना चाहिए जो हम उनको सप्लाई करते हैं खाद है बीज है पंप सेट स्प्रिंकलर ट्रैक्टर ये उनको उपलब्ध करवाने का मुख्य उद्देश्य है इसके साथ ही जो ग्रामीण क्षेत्र के हितग्राही हैं उनके यहाँ बायोगैस संत स्थापना का कार्य भी निगम के माध्यम से कराया जा रहा है अयोरा संस्था द्वारा मंडला जिले के बिछिया ब्लॉक में और एक दो ब्लॉक में और भी कहीं काम किया है सत्रह अठारह में लगभग 64 प्लांट का निर्माण अयोरा संस्था के माध्यम से किया है मध्य प्रदेश शासन और केंद्र शासन दोनों का अनुदान भी है एक घर मीटर से जो है दस घर मीटर तक के लिए आठ हज़ार ग्यारह हज़ार रुपये अनुसूचित जाति जनजाति के लिए सामान्य के लिए नौ हज़ार रुपये और राज्य शासन जो है पच्चीस सौ रुपये का टॉपअप अनुदान एक घर मीटर से लेकर के पाँच घर मीटर तक के लिए दे रही है अयोरा जैसी संस्थाओं ने मार्केट का सर्वे करके एक तरह से उसको कहना चाहिए मिनिमम लेवल पर जो मार्केट में कुछ लोगों के रेट तय किए हुए हैं या उनको एक साथ कंबाइन किया हुआ है इस व्यवस्था से निश्चित रूप से हितग्राहियों को तो फ़ायदा होगा और हितग्राहियों को जब फ़ायदा होगा तो निश्चित रूप से देश को भी फ़ायदा होगा क्योंकि अधिक संख्या में बायोगैस प्लांट की स्थापना होगी वहाँ पर देश की तरक्की होगी वहाँ पेड़ पौधे कटने का काम कम होगा तो अयोरा संस्था यदि जो है इस तरह से आ, मार्केट और हितग्राहियों के बीच में बैकवर्ड और फॉरवर्ड लिंकेज का यदि काम करती है तो ये बहुत अच्छी वो होगी थैंक निश्चित रूप से हम ऐसे लोगों की तलाश कर रहे हैं जो हमारे साथ में हेल्पिंग हैंड के रूप में काम करें अयोरा संस्था ने पिछले एक साल से हमारे साथ में काम कर रही है इनके साथ में जो हमारा काम का अनुभव रहा है बहुत अच्छा रहा है और हम चाहेंगे कि वो आगे भी हमारे साथ जुड़े रहें और हमारे बायोगैस के कार्यक्रम में हमको मदद दें IMAC accomplished its objective of developing innovative gender sensitive models for improved fuel wood management through the combined application of iForest, clean technologies, innovative financing and strategic partnerships. By engaging forestry students in program research, IMAC has also created the roots for ongoing work in this sector. The partnership uh, between the uh, agriculture college dharwad and also ayora is uh, uh, to help the students in the in terms of internship for uh, bsc forestry students during the final year program where the experiential learning is there and uh, secondly for the msc students of nrm department for at least two students uh, where who are working on the special demand and supply of fuel wood and also on uh, NTFE's abundance in Sirsi areas. The IORA is also helping in uh, little bit financial support and uh, uh, establish the uh, green entrepreneurship cell here. And apart from this, the IORA is also helping in uh, the technical guidance for uh, GIS labs and uh, remote sensing lab at College of Forestry Sirsi. And also the exchange program between the students and staff and they are giving the training for the staff also and uh, uh, and also the students in various fields like remote sensing gis and also uh, the ntfp's marketing and other things the gender sensitive approaches demonstrated by imac are helping reduce the drudgery of fuel wood collection on women and significantly lowering carbon emissions thus laying the foundation for sustainable fuel wood management in sirsi and mandala Women have to work on two fronts, at home domestic front and they have to work in the fields also for income and all. They have to take care of their kids also. We must respect sens this gender sensitivity and we must right kind of atmosphere there which, which will make our new younger generation uh, a bright generation. They, this, this, these things will ensure bright future for that area, for those generations. So we have to ensure all these things. In addition to fuel wood, communities depend upon hundreds of other resources from forests for their sustenance. 
these non-timber forest products are becoming more scarce every day because of two key challenges. Over extraction. Because NTFPs are a public good and their harvest levels are not managed scientifically, fierce competition from forest dependent communities leads to over extraction and eventual degradation of forest cover and loss of livelihoods. Lack of market linkage. NTFP collectors cannot easily access urban markets and therefore sell their NTFPs to village brokers. With such middlemen making most of the profit in this exchange, collectors are left with little choice but to put additional pressure on forest resources. IMAC worked extensively with communities in Mandala and Sirsi to create a holistic model for sustainable NTFP management. Through awareness and workshops, IMAC trained various NTFP collectors to harvest NTFPs sustainably. IMAC distributed fruit harvester poles to NTFP collectors in Sirsi and Mandala and trained them to collect only the fruit directly into a net and not cut whole branches. The program introduced a new ritual of tying a red flag on trees that had reached their peak harvesting levels, providing a visual indication to collectors to not harvest from that tree for the season. IMAC also distributed waterproof tarps in Sirsi and Mandala to demonstrate a simple way of drying NTFPs that helps preserve their quality and increase its sale value. In further value addition for the NTFPs, IMAC installed an oil expeller in Sirsi. This machine eases the process of deseeding NTFPs like Kokum and aids the extraction of oil and butter from various NTFPs. IMAC created a self-help group under the program, which runs and maintains the machine for the community. Through field demonstrations, awareness campaigns, street plays on eight different NTFPs, and providing technical trainings, IMAC has engaged more than 5,000 people in Mandala and Sirsi on sustainable harvesting methods for NTFPs. <laughs> Addressing the second challenge of creating market linkages for NTFPs, IMAC formed a farmer producer organization, FPO, in Sirsi. This FPO, run by trained village level entrepreneurs, gives local market access to NTFP collectors and buys their produce at higher than market price. IMAC has worked closely with these entrepreneurs to obtain organic certification for the NTFPs and to provide a decorticator machine that can help scale up NTFP processing. The certification has enhanced the value of the NTFPs in the market, giving higher returns to collectors and creating a sustainable business model for the FPO. Uh, one company na one sonste tar sonste na eno andan create maar be koi nonta one salai suche na galu bandhu. A prakar vagi na one asare agro parastrik company na one company na rachne maar dui. Aur ai mekora salai suche na matte na mella hardly general la seri andan na one kramabadhu aga andan maar be koi nonta one deshet kono. Idhar ideally sumarastu utpan na galu nee hinde na IMAC has also provided training and capacity building to several village level entrepreneurs in Mandala who are now facilitating the aggregation and sale of NTFPs. IMAC has demonstrated various pilot scale interventions to promote sustainable NTFP management. A women managed nursery was formed and demonstrations of Azola and hydroponic systems for enhancing fodder nutrients were given in Mandala 
for improving livelihoods. Ajola ko ham mabesi ko khilate hai, isse dud jada barte hai aur posti ke bhi hote hai, taakat bar hote hai, isse ghi bhi nikalte hai be. और दूध भी बढ़ते हैं और अभी गर्मी के सीजन में हरे घास नहीं मिलते तो इसी को हम जैसे गेहूं के कोटार है कोढ़ा है धान के चक्की से धान कोटवाते हैं उसी कोढ़ा में अच्छी सानी बना के आटा मिक्सचर सब मिक्स करके और इसको दे देते हैं इसको खिलाने से मवेशी के पोस्टिंग शरीर में आ रहा है थोड़ी सी दूध में भी परिवर्तन है जैसे हम एक लीटर दो रहे हैं तो उसमें डेढ़ लीटर करीब पंद्रह दिन या महीने भर के अंतर में हमको मिल जाता है Managing the nursery has provided women new skills and created an additional source of livelihood. This multidimensional work on the objective of strengthening NTFP value chains in Mandala and Sirsi has allowed IMAC to holistically address NTFP over extraction on one side and market linkage on the other. These efforts have opened the door to new opportunities for communities and will contribute to improving the quality of neighboring forests. To enable communities in Mandala and Sirsi to monitor forest resources and assess the impact of sustainable harvesting interventions, IMAC has drafted a robust protocol. IMAC has also developed a traceability mobile app that tracks the movement of NTFPs from collectors to traders to end buyers. This provides an empirical basis for sustainable harvesting by promoting transparency across the value chain. It has been a four-year journey of challenges, successes and learnings for the IMAC program. By enabling forest-dependent communities to use scientific technologies and methods to lower fuel wood use, sustainably manage NTFP value chains and enhance livelihoods IMAC has successfully demonstrated various innovative approaches for conserving and enhancing forest stock.